Finally, you are mine. I will take great pleasure in grinding your skull into dust. You seem confident, perhaps overly so. You should remember I've survived everything you've thrown at me so far, even your poison. What makes you think you can defeat me now? I have been watching you for a long time. My master did not believe me, but I was always sure that it was you who killed the others. You are fighting with your heart, as am I. With your heart? Your heart is as dead as a stone. You have no right to dwell in the world of the living. You are nothing but a zombie. You know nothing about me. This is my land. I was born and chosen to be the ruler of my tribe. And haven't you done well so far? Shut up! I did what was best for my people. Necromancy runs strong in my family. We are like gods, sent to watch over our subjects. But you, you are just a mortal. I was once like you, weak. But the bond with my lord, Victor, has given me the power to protect my people forever! You call this protection? Look at what you've done! One day, they will understand that I'm only doing what's right. But you're so young, you don't know what's right. Victor has poisoned your mind, corrupted you with his lies, don't you see? Silence! I am doing this for my people, and you will not interfere with my plans. So die! Die in the heart of my homeland! Die in the shadow of the ever-living tree of life! Die and let your blood water my earth, nourish my land, feeding my people! Die! Die!
We cannot defeat each other. Our powers are equally matched. You have earned my respect. Of course, it's a shame that we had to fight before I could see it. Still, I am beginning to see the truth in your words. My land was indeed cursed by the choice I made, and I am sorry for that. Victor is the root of all evil. I have to defeat him. I agree. I finally agree. His veil of treachery has been lifted from my eyes, and I know that I have a price to pay for my mistakes. So, although it will undoubtedly lead to my destruction, I am willing to help, to help you stop Victor. Victor is growing increasingly paranoid with each day that passes. Nevertheless, he remains a powerful foe. His magic can destroy even the most powerful of warriors. But there is a way past. Here, take this flask. It's filled with my tears, which are nothing but dust. The dust of the dead. If you attacked Victor as you are now, he would strike you down without batting an eyelid. But when this dust is applied to a garment, it becomes as if it were a shield, strong enough to withstand the most powerful necromancy, even Victor's. Get a dress and use this dust and you will be able to enter the palace. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Victor, but it will take more than just your Moonblade to finish this fight. It will take spirit, belief and strength, all of which I sense in you. I have lifted your curse. Now go! In the time that remains for me, I shall make my country blossom again. For the sake of us all, I pray that my time will not last too long. Thank you. Now, farewell, my sister. But come back any time you please. You can be sure you'll be welcome. There is one last thing. Yes? I have no ship for my journey home. The Dark Ship will be at your service from now on. Thank you for everything. Bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. Bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. can help you on your quest. I would appreciate the help. What do you want to know? How did the princess become undead? Victor selected his accomplices carefully. One to control politics and the citizens. That was the Doge. One to scare and threaten the merchant lords. That was Hector, one to silently remove anyone who might be a threat. That was the assassins. And one full with youthful energy to hunt down and kill any that might still stand. That was Chiamaka. Do you know how to summon demons? <laughs> First, you need to protect yourself. You draw circles on the ground around you, and then light some candles, a very difficult ritual to perform. Then you whisper an enchantment to protect yourself from harm. Normally what follows is the spell to call the demon, but Victor and his four allies didn't. They drew daggers, and they killed themselves while they were inside the protective circle. Do you understand what this means? Nobody had ever done such a stupid thing. But Victor knew what he was doing. 
After decades of study, he found a tiny gap in the cosmic rules and abused it. They were now dead, yet could not be touched by death. Undead. Death was not responsible for them anymore. No one was. At least, that's what they thought. That was before they found out about you. Tell me about the Knight of the Blade. When the Doge began to abuse his power, which was almost immediately after he was elected, brave people rose to stand against him. After all, Venice was always a city of the free, and the people were unwilling to surrender their liberties without a fight. Things went well, and the resistance grew stronger until the Doge found new allies. You know them. One by one, the resistance was picked off until there were only a tiny fraction remaining. One of them, a woman named Leora, tried to save what was left of the resistance by luring them into a trap. Victor had promised to spare them their lives if Leora would turn them in. But inevitably, he broke his promise. On the Night of the Blade, the resistance was slaughtered in a dark place below the city. And that was the bitter end of what was once a free and proud city. Do you know the secret of the Black Grimoire? I cannot tell you much about it for your own protection. Anyone who knows the full story inevitably loses their wit. <laughs> see the tree of life? Its roots reach down into the twilight world. And below that is another world. A place that's called the Abyss. From the Abyss, the black grimoire rose and found its way into our world. And as long as even a shadow of it remains in our world, we are in great danger. Demons from the other world can sense it, smell it. That is why Victor summoned them. You will have met them, and might even had people call them lectors. For they were bred only for one purpose. To search for supernatural writings. Farewell. Welcome. Bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. Welcome. Welcome to my land. Finally, you can see it in the light that it deserves. I did not think I'd live to see it blossom again. I will use my fighting skills to protect it as long as I live, and never leave it again. Thank you for all that you've done. I have taken up my profession as a fighting trainer again. I want to learn new ways to fight. I can teach you the strongest of combat skills.
I've been expecting you. Can you take me back to Venice? I can, and I will. Let's get on board the legendary dark ship. You did not need my hand this time. I feared I would miss another conversation with you. You came so far, and yet you couldn't prevent Victor from getting his hands on the book. He didn't take it. The book was destroyed. I burnt it myself. But don't you see? That book couldn't be destroyed by the most ferocious fire on this earth. All you did was erase its physical form. The Black Grimoire has a soul, and that soul lives on in the Twilight World. So all Victor needs to do now is reach into the Twilight World. And seize the words from there. If he finds a way to order them and to perform the final ritual, his hunger and corruption will consume you all. I'll just have to beat him to it. You have done well so far. I will help you as much as I can. I'll do whatever it takes to find peace for my soul. No matter how things go from here, this will be the last time we meet. In this world, at least. I wouldn't be honest if I didn't say that I enjoyed our conversation. Will you admit that you have feelings for me after all? If I did, would it comfort you? It would, Father. You have earned my respect, that is all I shall say. It's more than I'd ever expected from you. There is no time to spare. You must enter the lair of evil and defeat the undead Archon. Be strong, my daughter. No offense meant, my dear Victor, but it is getting a bit uh, deserted in this palace. And we still haven't found out who she really is. It doesn't matter anymore. The Black Grimoire. It's been burnt. I guess we can kiss our eternal power goodbye then, my undead friend. You really are more stupid than you look, aren't you? All the time I've spent searching for this book, but I never knew where to look. Ha! <laughs> you should search no more, my friend. For the book is gone for good. You fool. Don't you see? The Black Grimoire cannot be destroyed. It's not from this world, so it can't die in this world either. The Idiots burnt it, so now its spirit shines like a beacon in the Twilight World. And now that I know where to look, that book will be mine. You want to take the book from the Twilight World? Not exactly. It needs to be read from the Twilight World. A very painful process, and slow, but it can be done. Speaking of which, my doge, I trust that you have received a proper education, including the power of reading the written word. Of course I do. Why do you ask? Wonderful. Most wonderful. It seems I was misguided. You're not entirely useless to me. What did you mean by painful? So, 
you need a garment to which these magic tears can be applied. If I'd needed someone to tailor such an important dress for me, I'd only trust my mother with it. But Scarlet does not know about her mother. Still, there's a place where she grew up, and there is an old woman waiting for news from afar. happening over there? Move it! Go and look! How can I help you? I want to travel. Where do you want to go? Oh, hello. Mmm, that looks good. I hope things are going well with your assignment. The Harness of St. Anthony. Ah, the Harness itself, finally. All four items are united again. And those behind St. Anthony's death have found their justice by the blade. Today is a wonderful day. 
and long will it be remembered. We will place it where it belongs, next to the others on St. Anthony's sarcophagus. Here, take your reward. You deserve it. Finally, you've brought peace to St. Anthony's soul. Look! St. Anthony awakes! St. Anthony, he awakes! You scum. My lord, you traitors. what do you mean? Traitors. You changed my rules. You allow for mercy. The blade! It's complete again! You need to die. All of you, die. Changed the rules and paid the price. How can we go on? Maybe it's time to find your own new way. Maybe you're right. Maybe things have changed over the centuries. Maybe it is time for a change. St. Anthony was always our idol, and he always will be. But were he alive today, I'm sure he'd agree with our new way. Thank you for opening our eyes. You did more for the Order than we could ever have hoped for. We will always be there if you need us. Please, do me one last favor. Take the blade of St. Anthony. You are the only one worthy. Hmm, I don't know. Welcome home. Are there any jobs I can do for the Order? You have no more duties. We will be grateful forever. Welcome home. I want to learn new combat skills. Amongst other things. I That looks good.
Oh, what a wonderful garden. I don't know. Oh, hello. <sighs> Welcome back to the Hooded Wings. I'm here to do business. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hmm, that looks good. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Are you looking for work? What assignments do you have? I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you at the moment. See you later.
Hello. What can you tell me about the city? Just watch out for the dark alleys. A girl like you wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, of course. The May the Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Honest people are always welcome here.
you are again. I have a message from your guild. They say someone's waiting for you there. Good luck. 